The new game option shows on the LCD display the first time the menu button is selected. When this is a new game, press yes to clear all of the program data for the last game played or the game in progress and begin running the selected sport. Press no to resume the game in progress using the current data and exit the menu. If the All Sport Console is utilized for multiple sports, it may be necessary to enter a new code. After selecting Menu and pressing the down arrow button once, the option to enter a new code is presented. Press Yes to begin selection of a new code from the Enter Code prompt. Press No to resume the game in progress using the current data and exit the menu. Home Roster and Guest Roster are entered the same way. Home Roster is used as an example. Press Yes or the right or left arrow key to select the Home or Guest Roster submenu and show the first prompt on the LCD. After selecting Yes, Home-Team Name will appear on the LCD screen with the second line flashing on the first letter of the team name. You will see at the end of the line the asterisk is also blinking. This is to let you know to accept the change. Enter Yes needs to be pushed after the name is entered. The team name insert must be used to enter the team name message center settings. The team name message center setting is updated after each selection is completed. Enter up to 15 characters for the team name and press enter. After entering the home and guest team names, reinsert the volleyball insert to continue. Press no to resume the game in progress using the current data and exit the menu. As you prepare to utilize the AllSport 5000 console for volleyball, there are a few specific menu options to begin setting up. After you have turned on the console, the menu will prompt if this is a new game and if a new code needs to be entered. The menu key allows the user to select from a list of options specific for each sport. Utilize the up and down arrow keys to scroll through the menu list. Press in a key other than yes, no, the arrow keys, and other allowed keys exits the menu function. Use this function at the start of each new game to edit the home and guest rosters. Pressing the menu key again is the easiest way to exit the menu function. Within the menu navigation there is an option for edit settings. Edit settings will give you the option to edit settings related to the main clock mode and times, timeouts, individual player update, and displaying certain statistics on a scoreboard. To access the edit settings option, choose the menu key, then arrow down past new game, new code, dimming, home and guest roster, display settings. When the LCD shows menu dash main, edit settings. You will want to select enter or yes to access the options. The main clock mode and time options allow for setting the display to show a tenth of a second and the lengths associated to the period and break. Whenever a new number, yes or no, have been selected, the asterisk will blink that enter and yes needs to be pressed to save the selection. Timeouts can be set to a specific number that need to be available for the game with the amount of time that needs to be associated to each. As you enter in the correct number, the asterisk will flash to have you hit enter or yes to save the change. During the game, as timeouts are used, it will apply what is used based on this setting. With volleyball, you also have the ability when entering in the home and guest roster to add in the player numbers. By configuring the system with player numbers, data can be gathered for aces, kills, blocks, and digs. UserDef1 and UserDef2 are used to define which statistics aces, kills, blocks, or digs are displayed on the scoreboard. Only two of the four statistics can be selected to display on the statistics display for the individual players in the game. UserDef1 and UserDef2 are entered in the same way. UserDef1 is used as an example. Press 1 or use the left and right arrow keys to scroll to aces. Press 2 or use the left and right arrow keys to scroll to kills. Press 3 or use the left and right arrow keys to scroll to blocks. Press 4 or use the left and right arrow keys to scroll to digs. Press yes to display the selected stat on the scoreboard. Press no to decline the selection and return to the game. Press the down arrow key to scroll to the next selection.
On the volleyball insert, you will find options to enter specific items for the home and guest teams along with general in-game information. Let's review these buttons. Under home and guests, there is the ability to add points, timeouts, aces, kills, blocks, digs, sets one, serving, individual, and mass substitutions. The home and guest score plus one and score minus one keys are used to increase and decrease the team score. Press the appropriate score key to change the score for the home or guest team. The LCD shows which key was pressed and the new value for the team score of the corresponding team. The home and guest timeout keys are used to decrease the number of timeouts remaining and start the timeout clock. The scoreboard indicator is turned on when the type of timeout is selected. The scoreboard indicator is turned off when the timeout clock expires or is stopped. Only the types of timeouts that were configured in the Edit Settings function are displayed on the LCD and available for selection. Press Timeout to display the number of timeouts remaining. To accept the timeout and start the timeout clock, press Yes. To decline the selection of a timeout, press No. To exit the timeout clock, press Timeout again. This will turn the timeout off. The home and guest ace plus one, kills plus one, blocks plus one, and digs plus one keys are all used to add to their respective totals. Aces plus one is used as an example. Press the appropriate key to increase statistics for the home or guest team. The LCD shows which key was pressed and the new value for the corresponding team. If the program is configured to update the player stats, the aces plus one home's player number with an asterisk displays on the LCD asking for a player's number. Enter the jersey number of the player who made the play and press enter. If the player is not in the roster, the home player not found add prompt asks if the player should be added. Press yes to add the player to the roster and credit the play to that player. Press no to decline the entry of the player number. With the sets plus one button, the home and guest keys are used to increase their respective totals. Press the sets one plus one key to add to the number of sets one by the home or guest team. The LCD shows which key was pressed and the new value for this corresponding team. Press the home or guest serve key to turn on the possession indicator for that team. To turn off the possession indicator, press the same serve key a second time or press the opposite serve key. For example, the LCD will read home serve on or home serve off. When the home or guest individual sub key is pressed, this prompt asks for the player number entering or leaving the game. Enter the number of the player entering the game on the number pad and press enter. Enter the number of the player leaving the game on the number pad and press enter. There are a couple of messages that could be displayed after selecting the individual substitution. The, the individual sub dash home sub OK message is displayed if no errors are found. When a mass substitution takes place, there is a button to assist with quick entry of the player's numbers. Select the mass sub button. After the home or guest mass sub key is pressed, the LCD will display a message asking for the first of six player numbers that are going into the game. Enter the number on the number pad and press enter for each of the six players. Press clear at any time to exit the mass substitution function. The mass sub dash home sub OK message is displayed if no errors are found. The standard in-game details for the timeout on and off, in-game, out of game, delete player, match plus one, and set plus one can be found in the middle of the insert between home and guest options. When the home or guest player key is pressed, this prompt asks the jersey number of the player to be edited. Enter the player number on the number pad and press enter. If the player is not in the roster, this prompt asks if the player should be added. Press yes to add the player to the roster. Press no to decline the entry of the player number. If the player is found, the player's game status statistics can be changed. To change a player's statistics, use the up and down arrow keys to select a player from the list. Use the left and right arrow keys to select the stats to be changed. The third step is to enter the correct number for the selected stats on the number pad and press enter. To delete an incorrect player from the roster, press player, then use the keypad to enter the player number and press delete player. Press yes to remove the player from the roster. 
press no or clear to decline the deletion process and to return to the game. Press the set plus one key to advance to the next set. Once selected, both home and guest team scores will reset to zero. This will also advance the controller to the next game in the match. The edit key allows the user to select and edit the following scoreboard fields. Score, match plus one, sets plus one, timeouts, timeouts on and off, sets one plus one, aces, kills, blocks, and digs. For example, press edit and the key for the home or guest field to be edited. We will select edit then score plus one. Now on our LCD we will see team score dash edit home and the current score with an asterisk blinking. We want to enter the correct score, then select enter to accept the change.